right, this is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize. The number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by night time. So all eyes are on Khabib Nurmagomedov. Daniel, as your former teammate, makes his return to competition here tonight. A lot of us felt like this moment would not materialize. He's chasing 30 and 0 now. He's chasing 30 and 0. I mean, he's one of the only guys to get out of this thing clean. Nobody goes undefeated unless your name is Khabib Nurmagomedov. The guy has fought the best. He is a guy that lets you know what his intentions are, and he goes out there and he works the game plan. He's gonna get in your face. He's gonna try to overwhelm you with his wrestling. And you look at his boy, Hasbula in the corner. Khabib Nurmagomedov's looking for a big night. The Dagestani social media legend, Hasbula Magomedov, in the corner of Khabib Nurmagomedov tonight. Khabib Nurmagomedov. He has graced the octagon. It means we are ready to go with our main event of the evening. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now to get us started with the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Mario Bautista! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle! All right, Herb Dean, our referee for this one, just about to get underway. All right, so here we are from the world's most famous arena. It is, of course, Madison Square Garden. This is where the Thug Rose scene went down, we see. This is where it happens. It is lost for words, so I yelled the same thing over and over again. Pick Rose Namajunas, and you can hear me yell, Thug Rose, Thug Rose, Thug Rose. Clipped with a right-hand counter. Chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Mago Medov gets caught by that straight hand. Oh, guillotine, guillotine here. That guillotine is very tight. Submission defense. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially for a wrestler. Mm, that was nice. Great shot from the top position. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. 
Right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. And there you go, again, half guard. Oh, huge pop from the crowd as the fighters get back up to their feet. I mean, you don't have a good back of match, but these fighters can't see knockouts. Yeah, the fans came to see them knock each other out. That's what they're going to get. All the grappling was beautiful to watch, John. But ultimately, it is the striking that people show up for. Left punch followed by a right. Nice one, two there by Nermago Match. Fast jab lands in. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Bucky. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, he better start moving. He can't take two men with uppercut. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Great submission defense. Just over two minutes to go. Using a lot of good movement. Elbow from the top now by Nermago Medov. He's got to be careful here. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. He's gotta be careful here. Oh, nice movement to avoid that strike coming down. Nice shots landing from the top position. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Well, eventually he's going to try to get up, but he's moving his head pretty well here to avoid damage on the ground. You don't want to be comfortable on your back, but when you're taken down, you got to make sure you're active, and that's exactly what he's doing. Under a minute now to go in this one. Constantly a moving target. Oh, he's got his back. Well, he's no stranger to being in this position. Strong work from the top here by Nermago Meta. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Great defense by this fighter. Waning seconds here of this opening round. Well, the ground and pound has been working for him. Nice job here by Nermago Medov. Uh, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Warm sounds for the end of round one. Great work. We won that last round. This round, we want to keep mixing things up. Use your punches, use your knees, use your kicks. I want to see you work that different. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. Ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, second round underway. Right, DC, here we go with our next round. It wasn't just the accuracy, it was the aggressiveness, the volume. It was unbelievable to watch him be so active. The cardio, the push, the pace, and the pressure he felt. It's going to be very interesting to see if he can maintain this over 15 minutes. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Oh, good sequence there, the right hand followed by the left. Straight left counter is true. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Nermago Meadow. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Connected with a solid punch right there. Oh, nice right hand 
from Habib Nurmagomedov. DC, we talk so much about the wrestling and the grappling. You can't sleep on Nurmagomedov's boxing. Though. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice shot to the body there. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Oh, and again, another kick to the body. Useful one there. Tags him with the uppercut. Another punch to the head. Devastated body kick land. Man, that is loud. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't looked back. He found it really early. And when this guy gets into his groove, he is hell on wheels. And right now he is showing why he is such a high-level, high-regarded kickboxer. He is outclassing this guy. Nice straight punch there. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, that one landed, yep. Nermako Medov's got a nasty bruise starting to appear on that left side. We'll keep an eye on it. Good pay dividends late. Looking for that left hand, not there. Overhand lands flush. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Snapped off the jab nicely there. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Under two minutes now to go in the round. Nurmagomedov gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Lunges forward with a left there. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. Big elbow there, Lance. That was a hard body kick. You know, when guys start to tell you, kick me here again, they start to posture. That means that what you're doing is actually taking an effect on it. Oh, nice. All right, so the hands are crispy tonight. Not exactly what we thought we would see out of this wrestler, but as a former two-time U.S. Olympian yourself with some hands, <laughs> you can fall in love with those. You can fall in love with the striking, but he is showing tonight that everything starts with his wrestling. It gives you the level change, which then in turn helps him land in the striking. He looks fantastic. I did not expect him to look this good in the boxing tonight. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side hook. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Back in the clinch. Look for a takedown. He's very good at changing levels when he can get to this clinch position and get it close. Oh, nice. Nice. Gets to the single collar tie. He gets to his spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees fly. Got him in the clinch once again. He does a great job getting out of that no. clinch position. No. Ten minutes in the books. Excellent work with those strikes. Combination of the and the gym are perfect. Keep that going. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. 
punches in bunches as he lands another combination there, really doing a nice job stringing the shots. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. Great job finding different places for his strikes to land. Oh, big right hand, yes. Oh. Deep, deep, though. Oh, that's a chant, yeah. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, that body shot hurt him. Oh, he got absolutely bludgeoned. That's as good a combination as we have seen out of him here tonight. The last time I saw a combination this good, it was Donald Cerrone beating up on Rick Storr. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Nermago Menoff gets lit up by that straight punch. Well, without much resistance, he continues to find a home for that jab, much like he did in the previous round. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Lands a quick jab. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Oh, nice combination. Yeah. Just out of range with that right hook. We passed the midpoint here of the fight. Nice strike. Gets in close and gets that single collar tie locked in tight. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan and it's working. tie here in the clinch. So at long last, he finally lands his first takedown after several failed attempts. You knew coming in that he was going to stay committed to the takedown, kept on trying, and finally got him to the ground. Oh, he passes the half guard now, and he's not posturing the land punch, so look for a submission attempt. Nermanko Medov's pass is denied. side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control? Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Nermago Meta. He hasn't moved on the bottom, and now he's starting to swell after he takes another crown and pound strike. Side control is pretty safe there. Under 20 seconds now to go. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler.
this is the most dominant position in all of fighting. Because wrestlers love control. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side. Underhook, this is a great position for a top fighter. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. You ready to fight? You ready. Let's Fourth it. round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championships? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. Yamago Medoff's kick is blocked. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Now goes to the uppercut. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, oh lands a hip toss now. Changing the position. Nermako Medov's looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. Nice shot lands from the bottom. Oh, he's advancing. It looks like he's trying to get this arm triangle. All he's got to do is get to the side, get his chest down to the mat, and he'll get the finish. Oh, under the chin here. Oh, and that will do it. Habib Nurmagomedov back with style points tonight. Oh, my goodness. What a moment for this fighter here tonight. Called his shot, gets the win by way of submission. That after party's gonna be on fire. He got to his position. He found the submission, he squeezed, and got it done. It was amazing to watch, and it was amazing to be a part of the broadcast for such an amazing performance. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes, he takes his time, but it's his trickiness, it's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 16 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by submission due to an arm triangle choke. And still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. All right, so a lot of fighters have suffered from a similar fate against Khabib Nurmagomedov. You heard